Welcome to another Safe Address podcast and this time around it's the FAQ section so your frequently asked questions about Safe Address 2.2.029 the early access version and I have it running here and I want to show you some of the um, some of the frequently asked questions what want to answer those uh, um, questions and first of all we start on a terminal because we want to debug what goes wrong if the update failed so you maybe updated your system or downloaded the update clicked on install and then the installation process failed on upgrading or there was another issue with this and the phone just reboots in the old version what you can do is ssh onto your phone we need to have developer options available and enabled of course but I think as you are an early access user you have the ability to enable it otherwise just go to your settings and go to development tools and enable development mode and this allows you to set an SSH key and with this SSH key and the address either USB or Wi-Fi you have the ability to log in just like uh, I did here with uh, my system as you can see here my terminal running with um, the Nemo user uh, SafeHS and what I want to do is uh, show you that there's an update log so if, every, if something went wrong with the update process what you can do is just simply go into the log so the log file is under uh, var log and there should be a system update log and this system update log informs you of everything that happened during the update and what you can simply do is search for errors in here in my case it did not find any errors because there was no error in updating but if you had problems with updating uh, search for error and if you find the error message it might be helpful for others to help you and especially also if there was an error and there was a package name before a line before the error there's a package name or something like this it might have something to do with this package so either remove the package or try to manually upgrade the package or install the version from the yola store again and the upgrade uh, process should uh, then run smoothly through so this is the first uh, frequently asked questions the system update does not work Take a look at the system update log is it, it's really a helpful tool especially if you don't know how to debug stuff um, you can take a look at the update log and uh, also it's useful for helpers so if you are totally lost also with the system update log you can at least post it somewhere so others can take a look at that and uh, might find the issue second question is permanent notification after upgrading so you have a permanent notification that your system wants to upgrade in this case let's take a look here in the notification area um, besides twitter tweets or something like this you get the notification and you cannot remove this notification about updates what you can do is simply also go in the terminal and there are two ways to deal with this one way is to remove uh, the cache for the store client OS info as you can see here this is the command that you have to enter and then kill the store client and in 99% of the cases this is what will fix the issue if this still does not work there's another method to forcefully remove all notifications basically also permanent notifications from the notification or event screen by simply doing this here so removing the I can paste it here removing the um, database for the notification this will not destroy anything this will just take care of the notifications that are permanent and in this case this will then remove the permanent notification as well yeah this is this the next thing is let me go to my device again and I'll show you a problem that is common if you have third-party plugins installed for sharing stuff so I'm now in the gallery for example and I click the brand new share icon here you can see it only allows me to add a new account 
but there's no possibility to use the accounts that I added before. This is just simply because there is an issue, a comp compatibility issue between third-party plugins for sharing and the new share system share menu. Yola has um, found the issue basically why it's not ABI compatible with the older versions. Maybe there will be a fix in, the, in one of the next uh, early access versions or the final version that will allow also the older plugins to work. But you have to see that Yola never exposed this for third-party applications to use it officially. So I'm not sure if they really um, are going the leap to support the older plugins that uh, are now not working. So what you have to do for this to work in the future is uh, to remove all third-party first. Or you can uh, try to look or ask the developer of the third-party plugin to release an update for uh, SafeJS 2.2. But for now, I think there's only one plugin that got an update. I'm not so sure. Uh, what you can do is just simply um, what you can do is just simply um, remove the plugin, the third-party plugins, and I will show you this on the terminal. Clean my terminal. Um, clean my terminal and what I can show you right now is the path where you have to go it's uh, use our share nemo transfer engine plugins and here you can find a list of plugins and as you can see here there's some QML files and there should be oops sorry wrong folder of course you have to go into user Use our lib name transfer engine plugins, and there you can see the SO plugins. Uh, let me list that in a nice way. So here you can see the Bluetooth share plugin, which is a Safe Shares plugin, uh, Dropbox share, Safe Shares email is Facebook. Uh, Joker isn't. That's a third party plugin, as you can see also from the <laughs> date that I added it before here. Uh, copied it in here so I can show you the. A broken share menu. MMS is um, of course um, a native one, uh, OneDrive shares a native one, Twitter and VK share plugin as well. So what you need to do is remove the non uh, Yola store or official plugins. Basically everything except uh, Lip Joker share is official. So what you can do is just simply uh, remove this plugin third-party plugin and what you will see then when you um, enter the gallery again just have to restart the gal gallery I guess and let me go to another nice little uh, photo what you can do here if, you're, if I press on share again is you can see all my um, accounts are there basically you can share per email twitter mms bluetooth or something like this and i can of course add new accounts if i'd like to so this is then working again so this is i think one of the biggest problems people had uh, because of the third party share plugins so just like i said maybe yola will fix this with another update because they identified the issue why the ABI broke, so why the old older plugins aren't compatible anymore. Uh, so they could, in theory, fix it. I'm not sure if they will do because it, it takes some time and the ABI shouldn't be stable anyways. But we will see. The next thing, uh, next and the last um, frequently asked question is, uh, I want to install package XYZ but it's not working, it's telling me it's not available. Are your repository is broken. No, they aren't broken. The issue is basically that you have to refresh the package um, uh, package cache. So package con refresh. Mm, you have of course execute this as devlsu root and it will then start refreshing the software list and after this you will be able to uh, simply install other packages that uh, were not installable before. It's just simply that it needs to refresh the available packages and where they are stored on the repository itself. So it uh, works here because the installer itself is not doing this 
for some reason. I'm not sure why, maybe because the install process will take a longer time then or uh, Wi-Fi might be not available when you are uh, in the upgrade process itself. Uh, so this is one thing that you have to do. The store client itself does this because it has an automatic uh, refresh thing that also checks for new updates for packages and so. So if you let it stay there, open up the um, store client and, and look for updates there, it should in uh, one or two days uh, refresh itself. But if you want to force refresh it and you need a new package for XYZ, you can do it uh, simply this way. So I think, I hope I have answered most of the frequent questions. There are some other questions and uh, some general tips, just, uh, just like for example, if you have Bluetooth devices and Bluetooth is not working fine, uh, especially audio is stuttering or something like this, you can go into the notifications and just uh, turn off uh, Wi-Fi and audio should be much more stable. Uh, otherwise, I hope still that they will figure out a way to make it stable even with Wi-Fi enabled and working with more Bluetooth devices and so on. Yeah, this is everything for the frequently asked questions about Selfish S 2.2.09 if you have uh, 2.2.029. If you have more questions, you can just simply answer, I can simply, you can simply comment on uh, the, this video, I can answer them there or a link to them. Uh, I will also link to most of the fixes that I showed you right now. And I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video and thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.